Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute uh, pinchy bows, that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, now these are really great for using scrap pieces of material because you only need small amounts of ribbon for each one. So this is a three inch ribbon one and you only need six and a half inches which is probably about the size or even uh, more than most of your your scraps you know from the ends of making like if you've got like a meter of ribbon to make a boutique bow this would be enough for the scrap to make this bow. And you can angle this way or you can angle the opposite way so like i said you've got two different looks that way and you can do all different styles in the center as well so it makes the bows look really pretty but really simple and like i said I don't use very much ribbon at all so i'm going to do a three inch version and because it's so quick i will show you how to do it no so and with um stitching so we're going to do the stitch version with the unicorn ribbon and the first thing you do is it's six and a half inches, as I said. I'll put all the info in the description below for you, though, or in like a little box here. So just fold it in half. Heat seal in the blue cleared part of the flame. Well, heat crease. Just so you've got a nice clear line to stitch now. Okay. Now you can measure it. Or you can sort of guesstimate depending on how you work but for this one do depending on how deep you want to swell because you can go deeper or lower I tend to do about one and a half centimeters from the edge so from there or an inch depending on how you sort of work your measurements kind of thing and then you just gently curve around until you reach there. Now what I do is I reclose mine and flip it over. Now again, what I do for my guide is with my scissors, work where your original cut is. So here, you see, so that's lined up with the original one that we started there. And then you naturally guide your scissors from that opposite side. And you can see you've got this amount here and on that side you've got the same amount. So it's just a quick way than having to measure both sides and it makes sure you've cut this one, one this way and the opposite one the other way so you've got your, your angles right as well. Now with this though, because it's a curve, it will naturally try and fray more than a standard straight cut. So when you do it, you really need to be in the blue clear bit of the lighter. Not the orange bit, but the blue clear bit. You want to go all the way around in the clear, blue clear bit. And I always do it a couple of times on these kind of styles. Just so it's fully sealed and it's not going to fray from where it naturally curves around. So you go, that's all nicely sealed now. Lighter. There we go, so that's all sealed. And now with our needle and thread, from above we're going to do six stitches to get three creases. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is one, two, three. Try and make them as even as possible so all your creases are the same depth. It will help massively. And cinch to get your three creases. And then wrap your thread around the center and stitch off in the back however you personally like. So that's that one. So I'm just going to do the no sew version with the black just so you can see. And again, six and a half inches. Fold it in half. Heat crease your center. So you've got a pinch guide this time rather than a stitch line. There we go. 
take your scissors like i said measure if you need to if you can do it via guide and we're just going to make this one a touch deeper so i'm going to start about three um centimeters rather than one and a half side turn it over put your scissors in work out where the start point was the other side and then cut that way and if you wanted to start the other way obviously you can do it so that you start that direction etc if you want it you want it facing so it's like this you stitch it from or um, glue it from this side. If you want it pointing up this way, so the tip is more that direction, if that makes sense, you fold it over and, and do your folds from this side. So we're going to do it to match this one. So you want to fold it in half with the curve facing to the left. And yes, I did have to check with my fingers. I really, really struggle with my left and my right. You'll notice in some of my tutorials, so I do apologise. So pinch it in half first and you want your first drop of glue and when I say a drop it is literally a drop there. I'm going to really pinch that so that glue holds that. So pinch it back against in your thumb like this and then you want to take this corner and you want to fold it over. So it makes that original crease there. And then we're going to put another dot, dot of glue here. And again, you don't want tons because you don't want it seeping out everywhere. And then we're going to do exactly the same this side. So bring this, this top corner, where the line is. And bring it. So it comes back against that thumb and down. So again, this bit lines up with that, that piece here. So all your pinches are the same depth as well. That's the key with these um, no-so ones, getting your depths even so that your the structure and everything stays nice. Once you've got your back pinches in, you can come this side Okay, and this is what it looks like. And then you can pop your glue in your pinches there. And then you will get this. And then that one matches this one. Okay, so we're going to do the centre on this one first. And we're just going to attach a bobble or a hair tie depending on where you're from I don't know why we call them bubbles in the UK it's just one of those kind of words that we have for things don't forget to heat seal your centre ribbon as well and I always use the bit of glue that sort of just goes round where the, the tie is just hold that down a second and then we're going to wrap round once make sure it's in line with the original one and to get the look of this one all you do is when you wrap it around the second time where you want it to twist put your thumb there and then you twist it and this is the look that you you get so you get this effect to the center and wrap your extra round Cut any off if you need to. Heat seal again in the blue bit of the fling. Bit of glue there. And that's that one done. There's those two. And then we're going to add this one to the back of here. Just get rid of those glue strings. Bit of glue there. Heat seal again. And 
and use that extra glue around the tie. Bring that round. You'll notice that the centres of the glued ones are much thinner than sewn ones. I don't know why that is. It's just how they sit sometimes. So just bring that round twice. And I don't think I sealed these ones. So I'll show you the difference. Um, sewing it without sealing it properly will we'll have. So you can see and then we'll finish sealing it. There we go, because it's a natural curve, can you see it's already starting to, to try and fray? So like I said, in the blue flare bit, just do it and it takes care of that fraying and stops it from happening more. But this is why it's important. So there's that one. And if you wanted to do a knotted middle with the one millimeter well the nine millimeter what i do is a double it and cut that in half like this i usually use about five inches or about 12 to 13 centimeters of uh, the nine millimeter doubled and then take it so you get like the fish loop look here bring one side through and then what you do is basically twist it both sides until you get that look and then you glue the knot on the center And I'm just going to cut some of this off because it's far too much. But you need it so you can actually knot it, otherwise it's very, very difficult. I'm just going to heat seal the ends together where we've doubled them. Just be careful I don't burn my bow over here and you'll miss all me do that. That would have been good. Bit of glue either side there that side in watch your fingers don't really glue yourself like i just did and then wrap that side in with all your little glue stringers if you've got some like i just did and there you go two cute little pigtail sets sewn and no sew Great for ribbon scraps. Thanks for watching. Bye.